All right, before we get to the hands-on part of the demonstration for the PSDA5, we want to take an in-depth look at what the welder and the machine has to offer on the face of it first. So we'll see here that we have four knobs and then we also have a switch on top that says test or weld. So the first thing that I want to point out before we get to all the settings is that if we put it in test mode, I'll demonstrate this in the next clip, this is what's going to give you the test of the throw or the recoil on the gun itself. So as you're setting up the pressure on the back of the gun, this is going to give you a good starting point and tell you um, how big or how small that throw is going to be on the gun. Once we put it down into weld mode, now we can start looking at the knobs from left to right. So you'll notice that we have a pre-gas, we have the power, the weld time setting, and the post-gas. Because this is a drawn arc welder that we talked about where it actually creates an arc to set the key back down into the panel and we are using 100% argon shielding gas for that, that's why we have a pre-gas and a post-gas. So the idea of having the pre-gas um, gives us the ability to make sure that all the oxygen is cleared out of the weld puddle before the weld is formed or the arc is struck. So pre-gas at the beginning post gas at the end. Post gas at the end helps make sure that the oxygen is flowing out of the area and the weld stays clean and gives you as strong of an anchor point as we possibly can. Then we have the power button. The power button is going to, you'll feel it, it actually has pretty hard clicks um, and you can go anywhere from 250 to 300 to 400 to 500. Now what setting that you want to have it on really depends on the application on the car that you're going to be using it for. So you'll see that we have a nice chart right here that gives you a good starting point whether you're going to be using a key or a stud and it gives you a couple different setting options. Now those options and different settings can be adjusted as needed depending upon the application and the results that you're getting. And then we go over and we look at the time knob. So the time, um, same thing, on the welding chart it gives you a good idea of what the time should be. And this can go anywhere from 0 0.01 um, and it goes all the way up to 2. So the only time that you would go all the way up to two is maybe if you had a thicker piece of aluminum and you were welding a, a stud of some sort on. But when we're welding on keys and doing typical dent pulling applications, we're gonna have this way down and the sweet spot tends to be right around 0 0.07 for a key. So that's what the weld time knob's gonna do. Gives you the freedom to control how long that uh, arc is struck to give you the best mounting point or stud mount possible. And then we already talked about the post gas. So once we get to that point and we know that all of our parameters are set, now we're good to go ahead and throw it back into test mode and we'll test the throw in the gun so that we know the pressure on the back of the gun is in a good spot and we'll start working on the application.